The quadratic equation in standard form is written as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we can rewrite this equation into the form AX, uh, x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0 by getting the reciprocal of a and then multiplying it to all the terms. Now, we also know that the sum is equal to negative b over a and the product is equal to c over a. Now, this sum is the, reciprocal, is the opposite of b over a and this c over a is the product so we can substitute it as x squared minus the sum x plus the product equals zero by doing this we can find for the equation of the quadratic equation even if we are just given the roots of the quadratic equation now suppose we have an example that the roots are 3 halves and 1 we're going to find for a quadratic equation with integral coefficient so the sum is equal to 3 halves plus 1 getting the sum the same denominator 2 over 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 over 2 that is the sum now for the product it is 3 over 2 times 1 which is equal to 3 over 2 now using this uh, idea that x squared minus sum x plus product is equal to 0 then by substitution x squared minus the sum x plus the product equals 0 since our goal is to have an integral coefficient so we will multiply all the terms by 2 by, by, by distributive property we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0 and that is the equation of the roots of the quadratic equation wherein the roots is equal to 3 halves and 1.